next. They bank on preparation, focus, and sheer will. Each game, a renewed opportunity to prove themselves. It's next, right after this. Thanks, everyone, for joining 2K Sports for this Wednesday evening presentation of the NBA. I'm Brian Anderson. With us tonight, two great basketball minds, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Also, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Hey, Brian. Well, after the super team, some current top teams have been constructed more traditionally. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, great teams are built different ways. But when you can watch these players grow up and develop together, it's a wonderful thing to see. Brian? A little more meaningful building from the ground up, Al. Thank you. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Junior, and it's Boss in at the center position, locking down the middle. And it's Jay in at the five. And both teams tonight unafraid to run offense through their bigs, Grant. Talk about the value of being able to do that. Yeah, B.A., you know, it just speaks to how both teams can beat you in multiple ways of playing. I think it can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. Parker with it. Outside, Williams. Williams on the wing. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Pass to D. Beyond the arc. No good there. And Charlotte going the other way now. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them, but they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. Deflected! Out of bounds, and Charlotte keeps possession. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Two on the clock. Boss. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those balls. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Pass to Dub from the arc. And Boss pulls it down. For Charlotte, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Parker, no good. Here's D. 27 points his last game. Fires the three. Buries it from three. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations. But it's worth it. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Hardaway. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Williams from long range. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Shooting for Charlotte. Williams. One shot. a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to Dub. Stolen by Parker. Here's Boss. Fires from deep. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Here's D. You know, his stats have been solid. Averaging around 18 and a half points a game. And the basket by Dub. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Junior outside. 
Now Williams. 29 points for him last game against Denver. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. Now here's Williams. Four-point game from deep, Junior. Here's B. He can't hit that time. And Charlotte going the other way now. I'll tell you what, once things started to go downhill, their performance plummeted. It wound up getting pretty ugly. I was surprised they put up so little fight. That was not the team I expected right to right see right that now. night. Not just swinging the ball Damn around the shot. perimeter. Aggressive move inside. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Charlotte has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Now here is Junior. Tight defense on him. Back to Parker. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Out left to the wing. Here's Dub. That one off the back iron and out. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. From deep, Junior. They get the rebound. Boss. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Yeah, they've done quality work on the offensive glass. Gone two of five from deep. From deep three-point range. The shot by B, no good. For Charlotte, they've got six of 14 in so far. The rebound by Jay. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Has to be. Here's D. Three-pointer. Up again. That shot off. MP outside. Back to Williams. From deep. And they recover it. Parker finds Junior. It's deflected. Here's Dub. It's not going to go for him. And Charlotte going the other way now. MP, the pass to Williams. Back to MP. We've got 123 left in the first. Yep, Ooh. that one goes. Hey, that right there was a lot of confidence given the size of the disadvantage there. And also a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. D gets the bucket. Number 23. Assisted. 102 Zero. left in the first quarter here. Parker outside. It's intercepted. Here's Dub. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. If they keep finding steals like that, they won't be in the hole much longer. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. To the left side wing. Inside, Moss. That's his third basket in five shots. Solid work. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Step back and fire. The shot that time, not on target. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside, Williams. Nails it from beyond the arc. Williams has got 11 points. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Here's Dub. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other That's from the range. And so it's Charlotte Your leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. 
And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. Here's B. Looking for his first basket still in this one. On the floor for Charlotte. They've got Junior, and it's Parker in a small forward. Dub. Three-pointer off the mark. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Here's Parker. And the three off target. Shooting 40% from the field in this one. Here's B. And he can't get that one. And Charlotte going the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. To the paint. And he goes in for the dunk. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Going 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Jay. Fires for three. He drops it from range. You know, some have said those old school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. A great skill level in the game right now. No question. Hands it from short range. Five points in the game. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Get ready for your dance team! Here's D. He's got five. Hardaway up top. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your home team, Hardaway. Taking two shots. Shooting two. That one's good from Hardaway. Hardaway hits them both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Back to Williams. Junior outside. Pass to MP. 14 feet away. He got a piece of it. Here's D. And here's Hardaway from behind the arc. Hits the trifecta. 
Hardaway's got five points in the quarter. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Williams with it. MP right side. And MP throws it down. Sky high. One of his advantages as a undersized four. Pass to D. From deep three-point range. No good. He's missed five of his eight attempts. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Parker outside. Yes, and it's Junior picking up the assist. Junior's got his fourth assist in this one. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Here's Pippen. And he banks in the layup. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Pass to Parker. Now Junior. Now here's Williams. Good. And the assist goes to Junior. Williams has got 14 points for the game. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. On the wing, Junior. Here's the break. And he lobs it up top. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. And then P throws it down hard. Wow. That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Pass to Pippen. Kennard against Parker. Knocks it loose. And here they come. Here's Williams. The open J off the mark. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Here's D. Fires in the triple. Give him eight points now. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Fans, make some noise for your both teams deciding to change it up. One sixteen left in the second quarter. Here's Strickland. It's blocked. Kennard outside. Pass to Pippen. Here's Q. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Here's Williams. And the shot's good. Williams. Now just a one-point Charlotte lead. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Here's B. 15 in his last outing. 
pure Zero. from three-point range. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Pass to Q. Here's Pippen. Back to Kennard. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Charlotte has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Strickland. Shot clock at six. Four, three. Drills it from deep. And now a seven-point Charlotte lead. Oh, deflected. And so it's Charlotte closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. The flow of the game has favored them in general. But hey, the tide can shift. We'll be right back after this word. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Taking a look at Charlotte, Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. They were getting after it on the glass. Like, wow, they're... They got a nice edge in that department, which has led to this game. They won the heart and hustle battle in that first half. Now we'll see if they can keep that. Game. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Uh... That's a lackluster effort. Lackluster effort. They didn't look sharp running their sets. They weren't cutting. They weren't hustling. Jack, if you played in this era, you'd have a 50 because guys didn't want to give the effort. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. And it's Jay in at the center position. That's the group starting the second half for Ty Lu. Here's Pippen. Drains the triple. He's got seven. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And a deep three from Junior. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Here's Pippen to the paint. And down it goes. Damn, that one home. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Outside, Williams from deep, MP. Oh, wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. Good, MP. That one misses.
and he nails the third. Got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Here's B. Williams defending. Here's Dub. On target from range. He's got 11. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Outside, Williams. Pass to Parker. He takes it in. Hardaway against MP. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Man, good whistle there. Shooting for Charlotte. Number 13 at the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. So hits one and misses one at the line. Gone three of three in the second half. Here's D. An absolute bomb from three-point range. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. minute and a half now into this third quarter action. That shot's good by Parker. Gone 4-4 four four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. Pass to Jay. Three-pointer. Kept alive. Oh! Hammer it home! That hurt. What a finish with a reverse dunk! Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And let's take another look at that exceptional drive, thanks to Mobile One. Oh, big-time drive and finish. Showing a little artistry on that take. I could watch moves like that all day. Here's B. And Parker pulls it down. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Here's B. Williams defending. And stolen by Williams. Soft touch off the glass. Now it's a four-point Charlotte lead. Oh, no. He may have gotten injured right there. Man, he's in a lot of pain. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about. No matter your age or your ability. It's an unfortunate part of the game. Our thoughts and prayers are with him. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Pass to Dub. Jacks up a three. 
drills it from deep. 14 points for him. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Junior outside. Here's Strickland. Sinks that one from the post. Plays like that. So easy for him. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. Pass to Dub. Inside. Here's B. Uses the glass on the layup. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Charlotte has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Junior finds MP. Parker with it. The three is up. It's tipped. And they're able to recover. And the Number basket 15. by MP. You've got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Pass to D. Here's Dub. 14 Two points for him. Two. Hits the three pointer. And that makes it a tie ball game. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. From deep, MP. He drops it from range. MP's got eight points in the quarter. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Pass to D. Here's Dub. From deep. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got four rebounds now. Parker, and that's good. Now it's a six-point Charlotte lead. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots, you have to want to make the effort. third quarter of basketball. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Pass to Smith. Here's B. Now MP. The three is up. The shot comes out. From deep. The shot by B, no good. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Here's D. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. But the truth is, those type of plays are going to happen. You just have to regroup mentally and get back to work. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Luke Strickland, first personal foul, first team foul. Shooting for the home team, number 23, at the line for one.
Here's Strickland. Five points in the game. Puts up a three. The rebound by Clutch. Pass to D. For the lead. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. They're up by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. On the floor for Charlotte, they've got MP, and it's B in at the two. And the basket Zero. is good. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Pass to Dub. Here's D. He shoots it, and he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. 19 points in the game. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Tries it from 19, and they get it back. Boss, here's B, tipped. Here's B to the middle. Here's D and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Pass to Strickland. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. The three ball. Freak gets the bucket. And Charlotte leads by four. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Here's Dub. Oh, got a piece of it. And here's the fast break. Here's Freak. Three-pointer in transition. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Charlotte. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands, causing a lot of steals. Well, another major factor in the offensive performance was the fast break. Converting on those chances when they get them tonight. Takes a three. That is two. It's time to take another look at that powerful block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Now into the lineup for Charlotte. Parker, number 21. Gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Dub. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Oh, stolen by Junior. Into the lane. And the layup is good off the glass. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Here's D, covered by Junior. Has to be. Just five on the clock. Here's Dub. And Parker pulls it down. Parker's got four rebounds in the game. To the inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. And now it's an eight-point Charlotte lead. A tale of two halves. He's really turned it around here, scoring the ball. And there's nothing more frustrating for a coach than seeing his team giving up a bunch of second-chance points. That's going to be the main topic during this timeout.
in with Ali LaForce. Guys, in the last break, I listened to Tyron Lue address the team. He asked his players to really push the tempo. He wants to see quicker transition into the open court so they have the chance to score before the defense can set up. Trying to use their speed to full advantage, guys. All right, Allie, thanks once again. And out of bounds, Charlotte will have it. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. For Charlotte, they've gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Has to be. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First team foul. Shooting for Charlotte. Number two. Two shots. First free throw is good. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. He's perfect from the line this time. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Pass to Dub. Here's B. From outside the arc. That one's good. He's now 8 for 13. And he's really made his mark with the three-pointer today. And that's another big one. Just think where they'd be without all the work he's done from the three-point line today. Back to Junior. And that basket makes him 5 for 10. Steady production so far. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Out to the right wing. Here's Freak. Yes, Zero. and it's Junior picking up the assist. And now it's an 11-point Charlotte lead. Here's D, covered by Junior. Right wing. Launches it. Nails it from three. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Van Jorginski! Take a look at the New Balance player of the game. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. A minute 53 left to play in the fourth. Here's Boss. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. 
and just executing at a high level. I mean, Number taking three. what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instruction here. What's it all about? VA, oh, yeah, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you. But I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. And it gets that one. Number 13. And Charlotte leads yes, by 11. Yes. And it gets 21. even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Huh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Oh, just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. And he's been relentless. Here's Parker, gets some space and parries the jumper. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Inside, Jay. Tries yet again. And no problem from Hardaway as he finishes at the rim. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Here's Strickland, pass to Parker. Here's Strickland. Here's MP, defended by Hardaway. That's it fly. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Personal foul, third team foul. Shooting for Charlotte. Number 13, at the line for two. First free throw is good, and that'll put him up by nine. And both free throws good for MP. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. Here's D. Here's B. Oh, he missed the chippy right there. Shot and game clock separated by five. The shot by B, no good. Honestly, they're just down by too much to mount a comeback. And you know, disappointment starts to set in a little bit. You fought all night, just wasn't meant to be. Here's Boss. And so it's a victory for the road team That's in this the one. The game. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready the and they were focused. Focused indeed. Sure I mean, it takes a strong game. mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. And that'll do it, folks. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve